aside from our conference, which is going to be um, very strong at the top again, but I think vastly improved uh, on the bottom half from last year. We went out and obviously uh, bit off a big uh, chunk of uh, non-conference too with um, you know Creighton at home. And there's names that people might not recognize. Lipscomb's a very good volleyball team, Utah Valley. People have never heard of American maybe, but they were Sweet 16 from last year. Penn State defending national champs. Uh, Yale has won their conference uh, multiple times the last few years. Arkansas, uh, uh, very strong SEC school. So it goes on and on and on. Um, and it's unique in that uh, we get a ho open at home and we get two tournaments at home, which I think is important. Uh, but obviously the trip to Villanova will be e extremely uh, difficult, but at the same time I think gives us an idea of where we're going to be prior to uh, opening up uh, in conference play. Penn State arguably might have the best recruiting class uh, in the last 10, 15, 20 years, or maybe ever. I know it's uh, it's a, a huge, huge recruiting class for them. They lost significant, but they, they bring back maybe the best setter in the country. Uh, they bring back uh, other key pieces, but they've got a really, really, really talented class coming in. Five of maybe the top 10 players in the country are going to one place. And, uh, but they're freshmen, so we'll see how they develop. Uh, for us, I think it was important to get out and, and see somebody like that, but also, uh, you know, the American and Yale and, and Villanova uh, we could play four matches that weekend, all real quality teams, but obviously uh, Penn State set the standard uh, for the last decade, and um, now we can get a sense for uh, what that level's like. Uh, we see that a bunch in our conference, you know, we've seen Texas a bunch and, and other teams, but uh, it'll be great to play somebody that, uh, that we all admire as a program and as a coach that's been a really good mentor to me and Russ Rose. So, we're looking forward to that weekend. Not to get lost in that weekend is some other key matches that uh, that we got to look forward to. But obviously, Penn State is somebody we'll all be excited to play. I think what's unique about our conference is um, that's going to be a huge challenge to open up at Oklahoma. Uh, they lost some key players. We did, but we both feel like we can uh, regroup quickly and, and be very competitive. Um, they always play extremely. Uh, hard and uh, especially at home so that'll be a tough tough opener but one that obviously will give us an opportunity to get some momentum going. Um, I think what's unique about our conference is that um, there was a little bit of a gap I think between top half and bottom half last year and that gap is going to close. Um, I, I see Baylor, I see uh, West Virginia, I see Texas Tech, I see TCU as teams that are going to be dramatically improved and I see Iowa State, Kansas, Texas. Uh, K-State as teams that uh, are all capable of being top 25 teams. So I think our conference from a standpoint from top to bottom is going to be uh, much more balanced than it's been in the past. And I think we're going to have nine teams that are going to go into the Big 12 play all thinking they have a chance for postseason play. So that's going to, I think, bode well for our conference. But it's also going to require that uh, this young Jayhawk team be on point each and every time we go out and play.